Gamakas. This is the backbone of Indian classical music. In fact, it is Gamakas that differentiates our music from the rest of the world. So let's learn a little more about this beautiful concept. What is a Gamaka? A Gamaka is basically a connector between two notes. So instead of singing notes in a plain manner like we add some curves and slides and make it sound like Now when we do that, it adds a lot more life to the notes and brings out the essence of the raga. So what are the types of gamakas that you can find? Well, Carnatic music recognizes 15 different types of gamakas. But today we are going to look at the four most common types that you can easily recognize when you listen to a song. The first type is the sliding gamaka, where you simply slide from one note to another. So instead of singing it plainly like Sama, we slide between the notes like Sama. Or take a descending example. Instead of Sani Pa, we sing Sani Pa. Now, this slide is called Jaru in Carnatic music. But you can find these slides even very prominently in light music as well. For example, Kannalani. That was a slide. Sometimes an entire line will be full of slides, like Tendral vandu thindum bodu inna vannamu Did you see how every syllable was sliding to the next? There were no straight notes at all. So you really need to master this art of sliding from one note to another. The second type of gamaka is in the form of a wave or oscillation. So we take a note and keep oscillating back and forth. Let's take Raga Shankara Bharanam for example. Now if we try to sing the notes without any gamakas, it would sound like Sari Gamapadanisa Now even though we sang the notes of Raga Shankara Bharanam, it did not bring out the essence of the Raga, right? It sounded more like the western major scale. So in order to bring out the essence, we are going to add some wavy gamakas between the notes. Only now it sounded like Raga Shankara Bharanam. And this wavy gamaka technique is called Kampitam in Carnatic music. The third type of gamaka is based on janta swaras or double notes. So whenever you see the same swara coming twice like sa sa here the second swara will always get an extra push or a force from below. So when we sing sa sa ri ri ga ga ma ma Did you notice how every second swara we gave an extra force from a lower note? And that is a type of gamaka. Take the song for example Ninnu kori varnam and finally, the last type of gamaka for today, which I call the vibration gamaka, also known as spuritam in Carnatic music. Now, spuritam is also based on the concept of janta swaras, where the first swara is plain and the second swara gets an extra push. But in case of spuritam, the notes move so fast that it just sounds like a quick vibration. For example, Kanna muchi enada. Did you notice those two spuritams in that line? You will find this very commonly across songs. And you might need some classical training to get it right. Usually, a song will have a combination of all these types of gamakas. So the next time you listen to your favorite song, try to break down each and every syllable of the song and observe how does one syllable move to the next one. Is it through a sliding gamaka or is it through a wave or a spuritam and so on. So on that note, I'm going to leave you to explore the beautiful world of Kamakas. For more such videos, download Vox Guru, the music learning app.